हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू सेल थ्री प्रो टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स यूट्यूब चैनल थैंक्स फॉर लाइकिंग आवर वीडियोस लास्ट टाइम वी हैव सेन द प्रोफाइल व्यू प्रॉपर्टीज पार्ट वन वेर वी हैव चेन द प्रोफाइल व्यू एंड हैव सेन द वेरियस सेटिंग्स हाउ वी कैन चेन दिस प्रोफाइल व्यू स्टाइल्स एंड वेरियस ऑप्शन in today's video i will show you how to change in the bands well this is also important that i already mentioned in last my video that every company use their own styles and you need to know how to you can change if this uh, change text text size and bands and everything also it is useful that if you have uh, your drawings in a different uh, scale like 1 in 200 1 in 500 1 in 1000 or 1 in 2000 so sometimes you need to adjust text and uh, profile view to adjust it into the into your seat so that is also uh, useful to know how we can change that and uh, it is also your dependency on cad uh, technician uh, would be much less or even the cad technician know all the settings they could work like uh, as a beam engineers or uh, simply Uh, beam engineers. So this is useful to know how we can change all these things. So let's say uh, in the civil 3D, this part below is called the profile view, and the profile view consists of two things. One is the title, this one, and other things are the details where there is the labels and the geometry details are located. So let's see how we can build it from the scratch. So what I do first, I go to Profile View Properties, and I delete my styles, which is preloaded civil three styles. So now I hit Apply and uh, OK. So now from here I will start from scratch and show you how we can do this. Uh, first thing you need to know that from here you can add your various band types. Uh, the band types consists like the labels. Vertical, horizontal, geometry, and super elevation. So whatever you need to add, you need to select from here. So first I will profile data, and then here the civil three preloaded styles. So what I do, I select the standard style and create it from the scratch. So I go to the copy, and I give the name. That's uh, this should be proposed label. And uh, I'll give my name, Civil Three Pro, and apply. So I created a uh, one style of my name, and now let's change the data into it. So here, like I said, there consists of two parts. One is the title part, and other is the labels and geometry parts. So first thing I change with the title part. So for that, you need to go in the Title part also like uh, consists of two things. One is the text, and other is the boundary around it. And so first thing I go with the text. So I go to the compost label. Now here you have a three tabs: general, layout, and drag state. So in general, it is consists of your text style, text layer. So you can change your layers from here also. Where it look, uh, where it should be, and you can change your text style from here also. Right now, it's the same as standard text. If you want, you can change your text style from here. And then the layout part is the main part where you actually add the data in it. So what I do, I first delete whatever in it, and begin with the scratch here again. So here, here you have one tab where the option you can add text, line, or block. So what I do, I add text. So here one my text comes. So I need to give a title to my proposed labels then. Uh, so what I'll do, I go to here you can change your uh, give the name, and here you can see the preview. So what I do, I'll zoom it here. Check the pen and zoom this bit. So I'm editing right now this bit thing. So let's see uh, how we can edit that. So in go to text, go to the content, and if you click here, there's one box come ticks. You can click here, and you can select this, 
and you can write propose the label or propose the FRL or whatever you wish in your uh, uh, country use. So I'll write propose labels and here you can format your text style everything. What I do I go with the by layer or you can uh, want to change the color you can do it or for uh, I'll go with the red. I go to bold and then the left side and I use the sales standard text and I click OK. So right now it is coming up. So how I can sit uh, in the middle. So here you have option where you need to anchor your text. So I'll go and select middle center. So it is come perfectly on middle center. From here I can change my text height. If you want it to 3.5, you can do it here. So right now it's 3.5, and you can offset it. So I'll offset it minus one, or I'll go here and get the middle left or the middle right. I think it's middle center and offset of minus five. So you can play with this offset and everything on text and whatever uh, looks better in you. So you can play with XY or uh, text size and text strings. And there are other options. If you want to give the border to your text, you can give, but I say no. And if you want to mask your text, you can give from here. I'll say no. And you can change your border color and everything style from here. So that is set up the post label. So my title part is over here and I hit OK. Now from here you can change your band height and uh, uh, band width and height. So what I do, I'll just change it to 30 and I give it to 60 just to see how it looks. So this is the my title part over and now I hit it to the next part. Uh, I'm adding here propose label. So what I need to check that everyone, uh, everything is put to propose label. Uh, so that I go to first major session. So when I adding band for proposed level, I need to only need to add major and minor station. Uh, this horizontal, vertical, and equation part will come in the geometry. So what I do first check in display, I untick horizontal and vertical geometries. So I don't want uh, if you want label it vertical horizontal, you can let it tick here. If you don't want. You just close this. So I don't want, I just want minor and major labels. Uh, I don't want ticks so here. I don't want ticks on horizontal and vertical geometry, just major, minor, and band. So right now you can see here everything in zero layer because I am creating from scratch. So what you can do, you can click here and you can select your layers. And the civil 3D has a profile view labels. So here you can select your every layer. So what I do, I'll select it to profile view or give any layers. And you can select or you can change your color, line type and everything here. Uh, now again, I go to the band details. Uh, so here you have option for the text, whether you want small text or whether you want full band height. We will try both option. First I go with the small text. And I go with only 0.5 and 0.5. Same way with the minor, 0.5 with 0.5. And uh, now I go to major and compose label. So here I also start with the square. So I delete whatever it is in me. And I go to here and I go to the text. And I go to the text contain into the label text. And here I select this. And I want my profile one elevation. And you need to click this button. If you don't click this button, arrow button, that uh, whatever you change wouldn't come. So you select this and then click this arrow button, then it comes. Here also you can change precision uh, in meter or kilometer and whatever your comma. And you can explore other option as well. Uh, which is in you know uh, do in details. So what I do right now is I select meter and uh, 
I select pressure sensor 3. So whatever you make the changes, you always have to click on arrow button, then only that changes comes here. So I add profile 1 level and hit OK. From here you can change the elevation, uh, so text file. So I keep my text file 2.5. Now I go to preview and see how it looks like here. So I go to preview. This is my text one. I apply 2.5 middle center and rotate to 90. Should be the end middle. And uh, let's see how it look. The same thing I do for the minor station. Go to the compost label. I delete whatever inside. Add new text. Go to the contain label text. Click here. Label 1, Profile 1, Elevation, uh, Precision to 3, and click the arrow button to add that, click OK, 2.5, Middle Center, Bang Middle, 90, and go to Preview and check, uh, and zoom in. So this is how my text will look in here. So, I apply, OK, apply, apply, and you need to add, once you create it, you can add here, you can select your profile, I select this propose, uh, profile, because I created propose pan, and uh, zero gap, I don't want any gap from my profile view, and hit apply. So this is how my new style is completely created from the scratch. Now you can modify this all properties, colors, and the text size, text change. Now right now it's look uh, very wide. So let's narrow it down. So I'll go to profile view properties. Now this time I just need to go here and click edit. So it looks very wide height. So what I do, I go to 20. And this is 50. So this is one change has done. And my ticks are looking very small. So I go here and change my tick style to 1.5. Now here it looks red color. And what I need is uh, red. So I go to the display. You can go uh, display and you have, if you have created your layer, you can apply that layer. And uh, if you apply my layer, it will come with that or you can change color from here oh sorry uh, go to label and you can change your color from here as well or you can select any layer that will do and go to here and by layer or click clear and apply ok now my band uh, border looks yellow i want that white so you can go back border here and you can select color here so i'm changing from here you can create your layers and you can directly select layer from here and the other properties will come on directly uh, so what I do, I give to the black color and apply, 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 and apply. So this is now I look my text. So it still look white. So you can do the trial and error, and you can make your own style by this. So what I did is right now I create a purpose level. Same way I can create a for the existing level. So what I do, I created this style, I'll just copy this style and I give the name existing. Now what I need to do first, I need to change my title. So I'll go to compose and I change my title here first. Uh, instead of propose, it should be existing. And now I give it for color red. 
uh, sorry existing green and i hit apply ok so it comes existing and i apply and the same thing i do with the major and minor i go to there i just change the color to the green this is one method of changing color and properties go to here go to here and green or you can give it to by layer and you can change your layer from here so if i have anything suppose profile band uh, profile view text general so you need to create any layer style for that and you can give that layer to that uh, what i'll do i'll just select uh, profile design profile work links label i have mm, profile 3d existing i'll select this okay and i give here by layer so you can see it is goes to the that layer so in this way you can change layer with the layers and from the tools over here also so i just go here apply okay apply okay and uh, okay now i add again i create a style suppose three is really the next level and this pen go down existing levels zero so level so level now here you can select your existing surface and hit apply and this is how you create your another style so you can see here i have done the by layer and here i change the properties and this is how you do you can see here i have a gap between two you can increase that gap or you can remove this gap so you go here you go here and here the offset from the end gap so i will give zero zero and also you can create any gap between these two profiles so how you can do this i create gap of 5 meter and i go here and i remove this band offset okay okay and apply so now you have a band of 5 meter gap here and you have no gap from here so this way you can create a post level and a single level, level difference or you can change anything properties into the bands once you created your bands you can go to profile your properties and save as band set and you can give your name civil 3 pro and you can apply okay so it will save your band style and apply so next time when you create any alignment so suppose i am going to create my profile view of the second street and i draw in profile view i will go to the point segregation add 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 and now select band set so i have selected here my cell 3d band style and you can see it will come directly so this is where you can make the changes and the band save the changes and style and you can use it for your next project also once you save it you can copy it into the another file as you are given the different name it wouldn't be copy it will be remain in your style so this is how we create your own style and can use your projects thank you thank you for watching this